How's it going, you guys? Yeah, I know, another vlog. Uh, didn't expect to be doing another one of these so soon, but uh, I'm at Devil's Bowl Speedway. Just pulled up into the parking lot uh, for my first ever World of Outlaws race. I did. I went to my first ever IndyCar race a few weeks back. Obviously, went to Texas for Speedway, but had the best access I've ever had in my life. Now I'm going to my first ever dirt race of any kind. We're running a little behind schedule because we got held up at the Dr. Pepper Museum in Waco, Texas, and then uh, and then just traffic is the way it is. But uh, we're going to go see a little bit of a dirt car racing tonight. It's a Friday night. Weather's good. I'm excited to see what these sprint cars are all about. Ah, Devil's Bowl Speedway out here in Mesquite, Texas, just a little bit east of Dallas. Oh, and Natalie's here with me. Gotta grab our tickets really quick. This is gonna be cool, y'all. Hopefully uh, you enjoy the show. Got our tickets, we are in. This is kinda cool, we got the concessions out here. Over here, it looks like they actually have World of Outlaws merchandise haulers, kinda like what you see at NASCAR IndyCar. I think time trials or the hot laps start in a minute. Not exactly sure the schedule tonight, it's kind of unclear. World of Outlaws official merchandise. That's kind of cool, big hauler. A few of the biggest and most popular World of Outlaws sprint car drivers, Donnie Schatz here. He's got his own merchandise uh, trailer, own t-shirts. A few other drivers down here we'll look at. 10 time champion? Oh my goodness, and I thought Jimmy was bad. See anything that catches your eye? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh, that's so cool. Here's the Jason Johnson racing trailer over here. Stuart, Shane Stewart. He's got his own uh, setup. I don't follow the World of Outlaws super closely, but most of these names I do recognize. Sheldon Hoddenschild Shield? I don't know how to say his name, but he's number 17, so I like that. So pretty cool, they got a good handful of driver haulers as well as official World of Outlaws stuff. I'm not entirely sure how to get over to our seats. I think we can go around this way. That sun is pretty bright. I think I know why they call this thing Devil's Bowl. Oh, hell yeah, would you get a load of this? I hear some engines being fired over here. They got modifieds. What are those they got? They got other stuff here too, not just sprint cars. You guys cannot see that on video. Never mind. Right there. There we go. That's what's making all those noise. So they got more than just World of Outlaws here, or at least more than just the sprint cars, I should say. Pretty cool. Gonna see some racing this weekend. We don't have the uh, premium grandstands, but we're over here in the bleacher section. Pretty fine. Found our seats officially. <laughs> Pretty good view of the overall track, but I will say, I don't know whose idea it was to put the, the stands facing directly into the setting sun. That, that, that's a design flaw in my opinion. Every single outdoor stadium I've ever been in always puts the grandstands facing away from the sun. Devil's Bowl didn't get the memo apparently. Like I said, we have no idea what the schedule is. World of Outlaws online doesn't really explain it very well, so we don't know what races are happening tonight, we don't know who's racing, and we really don't know when. According to the online schedule, they should have started time trials 10 minutes ago. So that's, I don't know what the schedule is. We may be here, we, we might be here all night. <laughs> we haven't seen a sprint car yet. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't seen actually. We haven't seen anything with a wing yet, so we're, I don't, we, we hope we're in the right place. Ooh, that's gonna be rough. Hopefully, uh, maybe a cloud? Could we get a bigger cloud? Now might be a good time to show you guys uh, all the stuff we brought to our first ever dirt race. We got goggles. <laughs> for the two of us, we, we, have, we each have a pair of goggles. Uh, again, I've never been to a dirt race, but I'm just going off of what other people have recommended. The dirt flies in your face, and sometimes it hurts. See, we've got breathing masks as well, respirators. I'm not sure if that'll be needed, but definitely. Asthma, it'll be needed. Yeah, okay, well in that case, yeah. And headphones, ear protection, so I think we're set. Well, according to Twitter, uh, the driver's meeting just started, so while we have a little extra time, we're gonna go walk around the grandstands area a little bit more. Since we're only here for the one night, we decided not to get the pit pass, but it looks like to do so, you do need to sign a waiver to get a pit pass uh, for the World of Outlaws. Doesn't really surprise me. More World of Outlaws t-shirts. Pretty good deal, a lot cheaper than NASCAR. That's a little boy. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know about their mascot, I don't no, know. Little boy and big boy. Oh, jeez. I like this shirt. A lot going on, but pretty crazy chili bowl where it all began I don't know what's the deal I don't like this guy I'm sorry I don't... why is he blue collar now <laughs> yeah why does he get jorts <laughs> I don't know maybe I'm like disrespecting some sort of world of outlaws icon but he just looks funny one of the perks NOS is the uh, official title sponsor of the world of outlaws series and they're giving out free samples over here y'all know me I like diecast cars 10 bucks for a World of Outlaws 164 scale. And you see, you can, as you buy more, you can actually get a little bit of a discount on some of them, so that's not too bad. Next to the main entrance, they have the control tower, where I'm sure they also have the broadcasters for a dirt vision. At this point, I'm really just lurking down here to stay out of the sun. Figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a better look at what some of the World of Outlaws official merchandise looks like. T-shirts, at least. Bigger selection than I would have thought, quite honestly. All right, let's go back out here. Sun is still pretty bright. They got a, they got a few cars out there like prepping the track right now, and then there's some modifieds out here, just doing like warm-up laps. Again, I still don't know the schedule. I have no idea what's happening tonight, but something, there's, there's cars on the track right now. See, there they go, there goes one of them. Here's a few others. Yeah. 
also a you know Ford Ford Expedition over there or whatever that is. Still currently prepping the track right now. These all look like if you asked a child to draw a car. Ouch. Now we got a few of uh, the sprint cars on track now. Don't know what's going on. They're just pacing around. There goes Donnie Schatz. Because Brad Sweet drives for uh, Casey Kane. I'm used to like in NASCAR, you know, they had the track prepped for them. Here, the drivers themselves have to help prep the track. That's kind of funny. Getting that groove worked in. These boys are lining up for something. Not exactly sure what, but they're lining up. Oh, and there they go. Yellow lights on. I guess that means pace laps. I think this is hot laps. I think these things are gonna do some hot laps. Which I don't really know what that is, but we'll find out here pretty soon. First set of hot laps there, and already somebody hit the wall. I mean, this is fast paced. Second group of cars already going out. Two car pile up over here in turn two. What are y'all doing? Hot laps for the modifieds just ended. So uh, just a taste of what's yet to come. Whoa, got an airplane coming in low and hot. Ooh. They had one stall out in turn three. Uh, that's super scary, honestly. You're like a sitting duck. That was so fast. Hot laps just ended. Next up is qualifying for the sprint cars. Single car runs, I think, for the heat races later tonight. The sun has finally mostly gone down, so we actually have a very nice view of this half mile speedway. Single car qualifying just wrapped up. Uh, again, I don't know the schedule, so I'm just kind of rolling with the punches. I think they're gonna do some heat races here in a little bit. They still have these uh, other modifies sitting here on, in, on the infield. I'm not sure if they are racing tonight. Running for a quick bathroom break, but a pretty good crowd here for a Friday night. First real break in the action, and the concessions are a popular place. Goodness, heat race is already getting ready to start. Gotta head back to our seats. Engines are fired, here we go, baby. Heat race number one, I think it has nine cars. Look at that sky. That is so pretty. for debris here in, in the second one. This dude just ran out and put a cone in the middle of the track. 
the wire connector, the cone, the hip. Yeah, why did he put a cone in the middle of the track? I don't, I don't understand this custom. I mean, they're they're coming around to restart, right? Like, there's a cone in the middle of the track. Speaker never stops talking, so it's hard for me to like talk. And in the sixth starting spot from Alveda, Ohio, the red line welding and construction Astro Titanium King Reese. He just keeps talking. Wow. <laughs> Another one just stalled, caution's out. I finally figured out what this cone is for. It's to make sure that the cars line up single file when they restart, so they have to stay to the left, to the outside of that cone there. So they put the cone out to make sure they don't change lanes before the start-finish line. Huh. Got these uh the other uh, modified cars are lined up they might be doing a race after this again i don't know the schedule i'm just enjoying the ride are about to do a race. Like, I barely have time to gather my thoughts and think about what I've been seeing, but everything's happening so fast. Not just the cars, the pace, the schedule, everything is so fast. The way the announcers talk, it's all so fast. They're already racing again. It's been like a minute. What? When the heck are we supposed to go to the bathroom? I mean, my gosh. Maybe 60 seconds after the last race ended, another race is getting ready to start. Here we go, green flag for heat three. Four wide, oh. Oh no. Oh. Is that gonna be a caution? Is that gonna be a caution or no? I guess not, no caution. Oh, oh, there it is. Caution, caution. What do you think? What? <laughs> what do you think of the racing so far? I don't even have to think. Yeah, yeah I know. They, they, the race ends, and like 60 seconds later, there's another race. It's crazy. I mean, the guy, the flag waver. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He like doesn't even like put down the checkered in one hand and then before he picks up the green in the other. Yeah, he's like he'll like have the checker literally in one in this hand and then the green flag in this hand and he'll be like waving the green while he's waving the checker. Like I'm not kidding. Pretty much. 
Yeah. This heat race still isn't over though, so they gotta do a few more laps. Eight lap heat race. Yeah, it's like, in fact, they still have to do most of the laps. Here we go. lap race and you brought out two cautions how do you do that get another cool restart though three to go Oh geez, we have another heat race? A fourth one? Oh my goodness, it's never gonna end. goggles on for that one. Wait, hang on, they just said they're gonna do another short race with six drivers to see who actually starts first for the main race. They're doing another race, just for the sake of racing. They're gonna do another extra race that honestly they probably don't need to do. Dang man, if anyone doubts that dirt fans like racing, then they're just wrong, man. These guys will race literally anything. They'll race each other to the bathroom. I mean, hell, they'll race literally anything it seems like, all the time. Okay, they got a B feature race here for the limited modifieds first, I guess. I they're just racing everything out here every five seconds. I don't know what, I can't keep up with it. I wish I had a schedule, World of Outlaws. I wish I had an actual schedule I could look at. So apparently this is like the last chance race. Top four finishers will move on to the main feature race later on. I think it's later tonight even. I don't know how many more races. We might not even stay for all of them at this rate. I don't know, there's like a billion races. I wasn't prepared for this. I honestly thought we might be in here for like an hour or so. We've been here for like three hours and there's no sign of stopping. This is a lot of cars. These guys have been wrecking on their own. I'm afraid now. off the wall hit the other dude and they almost flipped right here and then it ended up just spinning out on the entry into the corner restart with four laps to go here top four make it in uh oh oh orange dude 
slow down. Fast six, whatever the heck they call it. Here comes the race. Go, green. Go green. just ended. Interesting, these cars always need a push to get started. They always need somebody to push them. I really have no idea what race this is now. I think this is their last chance race. The top six finishers in this one make it to the feature, but I honestly don't know what race this is. I've lost track at this point. I've seen like 30 races tonight. <laughs> Almost calls the big wreck. Robbie Price slows on the move straight away. Caution flag waving. So Swindell won that one. I don't know what's next. Is it the feature now? It has to be the feature now, right? The main race? Where like all 20 of them or whatever get out there? It's gotta be that, right? Standing up now, you can see pretty big crowd here. I don't know if I had to guess, five, 10,000 people. I don't know what the capacity here is. But that's a pretty good crowd right there. I'm just starting to feel a couple drops of rain, but they have the cars lined up. They're about to start this race. Feel a little bit of rain though. Woo! Oh, they're doing that big salute thing. Oh, whoa. Woo! to see that in person. <laughs> green flag in the main we feature.
usually go on for like two straight nights. What'd you think? That was a sprint, literally. Race lasted maybe like eight minutes, but that was something else. My other camera ran out of battery, so I'm filming this on my phone now, but that was, that was incredible. Unfortunately, we're not able to stick around for the uh, other feature they have. The, the modifieds are gonna do a feature, but we aren't able to stick around for that. But those sprint cars, they put on a show. They call this the greatest show on dirt. It, it's the best show I've seen on dirt. We even through the parking lot now trying to find our car. Uh, that, that was crazy. Yeah, they gave us free NOS energies. It's like 1030 at night and they're giving out free NOS energies. What are they, they're trying to kill us? They don't want anyone falling asleep at the wheel driving home, I guess. I found the car. Wow. That was quite the experience. I've seen I've seen three different types of major racing events in about four weeks. IndyCar, NASCAR, Stadium Super Trucks, forgot about them. And now uh, World of Outlaws. Let's just keep adding to it, y'all. Thanks for enjoying the ride with us. Uh, it's been fun, hope you enjoyed watching.